The M4 MacBook Air has a problem. In our previous video, you guys saw how much it throttled when we were running Cinebench. The wattage went super low, it got crazy hot, and even though it smoked the M3 MacBook Air, it still got way less performance than the same chip in the 14 inch, which has a fan. I just ran Cinebench on this machine and look at this score, 1,007 points compared to 702. That is a difference of 43%, which is massive, but what if you could spend $15, $20, $30 to get way better performance and turn your $999 MacBook Air into a MacBook Pro that costs way more. Let's start with this cheap laptop cooling stand, which we used to use quite often back in the day. And this is just gonna help uh, to get a little bit more airflow on this fanless MacBook Air. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start our multi-core 10 minute stress test here. And this is our first stage of options if you wanna get more performance. Now I'll go ahead and link it down below along with the other things we're gonna test. And I don't expect you guys to always have this with you, but if you're at your desk, you wanna get some serious work done, you want some more performance, it's great. You don't have to do anything, just set it on top. Now, if you guys look at these statistics here, you could see that the air is running a lot less power. It already throttled down and its efficiency cores have also dipped compared to the M4 MacBook Pro. And the interesting thing is, even though I can hear these fans, I hear the fan on the M4 MacBook Pro louder than these. Now we are gonna be able to add something into this system to make the setup work even better, but let's wait for our results. All right guys, we have our scores and this is interesting. The M4 MacBook Pro got 949, so it actually got lower. Probably the first time I ran it, it sat cold for a long time. But the MacBook Air with this stand got 802 points, literally 100 extra points. That's about a difference, over 14% more performance just by setting it down on here and the whole thing is running cooler. I started running this again and take a look, we're running at 39.4, 39.2 as far as the temps here. And if you remember in our previous video, we got 44.6 when running Cinebench without our laptop stand. But this is where the really fun part comes in because this is not the only thing that you can do. Yeah, definitely cooler on the backside of this. We have used thermal pads in the past on previous MacBook Airs and it really helped, but the difference this time is that the M4 MacBook Air has a much more powerful processor that heats up even more so, and unfortunately, that heat is trapped inside of this cover. Now I have to give a disclaimer, if you are going to be using a thermal pad on your MacBook Air, uh, well, the bottom will get more hot. But those of you out there that say this can damage your MacBook, it can't. There's tons of sensors that will limit performance if any part gets too hot, including the battery. Now I'm applying it right over here where our M4 chip is. I'll have this link down below. This is a 1.5 millimeter one. It is on the thicker side. You could do a one millimeter one if you want it to be a little thinner. And let's go ahead and peel off this top piece. Now you could put some more on the outsides here. Apple themselves has a little chamber here, uh, but that main piece is right over there. And then we are gonna reinstall our cover. And what that does is it allows all that heat to transfer to the bottom of the case instead of just getting stuck. Now this alone can improve your performance. I mean, look at that. We're running 23, point, uh, 23 watts or the 21. We're already peaking higher and it's holding it longer than previously. It's been three minutes and look at this guys. Our efficiency cores just now started dipping a little bit lower as I was speaking. So it's definitely helping out. Uh, but of course, the whole system will still heat up because that heat is trapped in there. But this is great for shorter bursts when you're exporting some photos, maybe a video. And look at this, guys. We are still running at the end here. It's been more than 10 minutes, above 12 watts, almost 13 watts here before we were under nine in our original test. So it's definitely working. It just finished and wow, guys, look at this. 
837 points without any sort of fan or standoff at all, that is about 20% more performance than the system by itself. People used to spend hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of dollars to get that kind of a boost on their systems. Man, okay, so now what we have to do, before we do our unique stand, I'm gonna grab this cheap laptop cooler and let's combine both of these little mods for our MacBook Air and see what this thing can really do. All right, let's get both of these started up right here and we'll see what's going on. 22, 23 watts right here, getting just as high, but we'll see how this can keep up. Okay guys, look at this. We have three minutes left, we're on our second run. We were still at 16 watts of power and the efficiency cores did drop as far as the performance, so throttle down a little bit, but way later than before and not as much. All right guys, the test is done and we have 864 points compared to 953. That is less than a 10% difference compared to what do we have before? 43% difference between the Air and the Pro. That is absolutely crazy. That is also 23% more performance compared to just using the Mac itself. And I am almost certain that if you have a better laptop stand, that for example, Targus has one that's three fans, uh, then this one, you'd get better results. Cause right now we are blowing cold air on both sides of this MacBook Air, not right in the middle where we have that chip and that thermal pad. So that is extremely impressive. Now, what about if you wanna use this in clamshell mode? Well, we have this guy right here. This was sent to us, we'll link it down below. It's 3D printed using special thermal material. You have a fan on the back that can help cool it off. So for the clamshell users, let's go ahead and test this out. And bam, check out our setup right here. This cooling stand is really nice. And I also have a rolling nifty 4K display. So we're actually pushing more pixels now. And you guys can see right there, we hit 23 watts just over that. And now I'm just gonna let it run and do its thing. This thing is being extremely consistent. Now I don't really know what happened guys. If you look at it, our temps just shot up and our GPU is using a bunch of power now, which it was not before. Our total package power is higher. So I don't know, maybe there's something else running in the background, but overall our estimated performance is still looking pretty good. And there we go, we are done. We got 842 points, uh, which is still great. I wasn't sure how this setup would work compared to the laptop stand. And of course, uh, if we didn't have that GPU kick up, I don't know why it happened. The little estimate was running at 867, similar to the laptop stand. So if you don't wanna use a laptop stand, you want a vertical nice clamshell setup, this thing definitely works and it's interesting. I can even feel the heat on the other side over here where it's passing through into the material. Uh, and then of course the back is cooler because of that fan. So if you guys wanna check it out, we'll have links to that down below. So there you guys go, three different solutions, two that you can kind of put together. What are your thoughts about improving the performance of this machine? It's already an insane value at 999, but to get that much more performance, just 10% off from a 14 inch MacBook Pro that costs way more, I say it's pretty awesome, but let me know down below. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out that comparison against the M3 and the M1. If you haven't seen them yet, this has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.